Hey, good morning. We are hanging out at the Needlers location in Carmel talking about hosting for the holidays. And this right here is what I'm most excited about. A nice charcuterie board. You cannot go wrong with that. Michael Needler, your local grocer with us here. Michael, you are pulling out all the stops with this spread here. As I often do when you come to the store, Jillian, we love to make sure that you get the best that we have to offer. And you know, I would tell you that the Needler family loves to throw a party. Oh yeah. It's just one of our things, whether it was my dad, my grandfather, all of my sisters, we all love to get together and throw a party. And there's no better way than to come prepared and ready to just have that mix and mingle and that grazing station, as they call it, a charcuterie board. Um, and so what we wanted to do is show you a little bit about charcuterie boards. I'm not gonna be able to spell it. I barely pronounce it, but I can definitely eat it. So uh, we've asked Dave, our local cheesemonger oh, to come yeah. share with us some of his expertise on cheese. Oh, let, let's bring him in. Come on in here. Hey, it's hello, good hello. to see you. So I love this. You guys were saying it takes five years to get certified in this way. So he knows his stuff, basically. Absolutely, he sure does. So Dave, if I were to build this board today, how would I start? What do I like? You know, when you when you're thinking about a meal. Right. I usually buy a cut of meat because, you know, meat's the center of the plate, but that's a little different than in this case, right? Right. So you can get any board at all. And what I've done is I put some top tier cheeses on this. This is the port wine derby. It's a good derby cheese with the port wine. That is English Stilton right there. English Stilton. Okay, so hang on a second. So we're on the English Stilton. Right. What's the flavor of an English Stilton? Can we try it here? Yes, Shall you we can. Sample? Yes, you can. All right. Very pungent. Mmm. That, yeah. is, yeah. that is the English blue cheese. Mm. That's very good though, and that would be perfect with any of these crackers. You know what it needs though? What? I think it needs a little red wine maybe. <laughs> How did I know Michael was going to say that? <laughs> well, it's, you know what, 10 in the morning. I think it's appropriate to say cheers and celebrate our, our long-standing relationship since you guys started. I think we were on your first day. Yes, that's so true. So it's so exciting to be with you again oh, thank you yeah something to celebrate here needlers was a part of our inaugural episode so it's perfect that here we are getting ready for the holidays celebrating with you guys celebrating with dave oh dave this pairs nicely with the wine yeah i like it yes, it does one of the things is uh we, we brought back out the troublemaker wine it's a nice table wine but we brought it out because we know we really miss having ryan here today oh, so you know ryan i think that we brought your your namesake wine out we yeah michael named this after ryan rightfully so so it's perfect that we're pairing this with everything we got okay so show us what's next we talked about the cheese here what else have you got on the board well i put the cheese down first and then i'll put the meats down so we got prosciutto some copa some dry salami all the meats go down after the cheese goes down so this okay. is this is premium dutch gouda mm -hmm. Ooh, i want to try that premium dutch gouda Ooh, this, that's right that's, 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 that's that beamsters that's premium that's dutch gouda Oh, I got a big chunk. Ooh, this looks delicious. Ooh. And what would you pair this with, cracker-wise? Uh, right here, mm -hmm. the cracker, the flat crackers mm -hmm. is what I would use. And then, you know, on something like that, I would, you know, you sometimes you want to use the pear date and chutney mm -hmm. on like the blue cheeses. Yeah. And that is triple cream brie. So that's wow. St. Andre's triple cream brie. Not every one of the stores has this uh, prepared on the daily, right? So you can get a regular meat and cheese tray, take it, put it on a cutting board, and dress it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. So you can get a lot of the work done in the store for you, and then amp it up. So Dave, what's the deal with these olives? Yeah, okay, the, the, the olives, I use the castle olives, and that way they, they stay dry, and they don't soak down anything, any of the cheese. So it's basically, you know, for color. That was a now, castle olive. Does it yes. have a pit in it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so let's not does. break those. Yeah, it's got a, it's got, it's got a pit in it, but it's, take a little baby bite. but it stays good looking on the board. So okay. that's why I use that. Mm -hmm. You've amped this up so nicely. It looks like a pro did it because a pro did do it. And if a pro, <laughs> if if somebody wants to come to one of our stores and have you do this, mm -hmm. will you do it? For Absolutely. Us? And Absolutely. I've got behind me a couple of small oh, charcuterie that. boards that you can just have for lunch. Maybe, uh, you know, sharing a bottle of wine with your favorite friend yourself. Um, this would be perfect. Anything else that we need to know about putting together a board for everyone we're entertaining here? It's just that, the, you know, you're going to spend some time doing it. Slice up your cheese differently, like some of it was hand broken up. 
where I hand broke some of them and then sliced some of them up. Um, it's, it's all up to you and how you like the cheeses. And then the meats, the meats, because charcuterie board is two French words together is basically what it means. And it means meat cooked. Thank you once again for coming to share all that we have to offer at Needler's Fresh Markets. We would love to be your hosting holiday headquarters. Dave, thank you. This is amazing. Mm. Thank you so much.